Hello fellow leggers, thank you for joining us. The UK is in the grips of Storm Dennis, but here we are braving the weather. What could be more British, you might say? <laughs> well, how about a play about the state of our nation? And which play is that? And that is finally Albion, the revival here at the Almeida. It's come back, fellow leggers, after all of our petitioning, saying, please bring it back, please bring it back, please yeah. bring it back. I feel like we've had the biggest influence here, so stick around to find out all of our thoughts. Find out how many stars. And whether it's break a leg, or leg it. Yes, fellow leggers, you'll know if you've been following us that ever since we saw this production, whenever we've come to the back Almeida... Back in 2017, we 2017, we've this. been saying, Almeida, please bring back yep. Albion, please bring it back. Two and a half years of banging <laughs> at Rupert Gould's back doors, and finally, it's here. Now, we'd like to think that it's back because of our petitioning. I'm not sure that I that is the case. I don't know if that's the don't case. Don't even know if they've heard of I us. I mean, I'd like to think it's back just because they know that it's bloody good. <laughs> like, there is that if, as well. If there's a reason to there bring something that. back, I think that is the reason. Um, but what yes, do we need to know, the fellow playwright, Lego? I mean, we've got a video about it, which you can check out True. up there. But the, check out the first The playwright time is Mike Bartlett, who's responsible for such plays as Cock, Bull, and the Olivier Award-winning King Charles III, yeah. alongside screenplays for TV shows such as the crime drama The Town and Dr. Foster. Yes, um, which brilliant. Which Great there's some writing. familiar faces he works with, seems to be, for Dr. Foster. But we'll come on to that in a moment. Yep. The Almeida Artistic Director, Rupert Gould, who recently saw Hollywood's success with the movie Judy. What? Which right he, here? Yeah, which he, and now he's, he directed that. Well, and he's the artistic here. I mean, there's just a big accolade to yeah. UK theatre directors, because Sam Mendes, as well, is doing fantastically as yeah. well. So do you know what I mean? Transposable skills, stage to Absolutely. screen. Absolutely. Well, Judy was nominated for two Academy Awards and won one for Renee Zellweger who picked up Best Actress for her portrayal of Judy Garland. I know you were looking at Cynthia Erivo. I know she I was... I thought she had it She's your bear, you right? But yeah. um, Renee Again, got it. Again, another British actress doing well over in the States. She is. Rupert has assembled a cast with a mix of old faces from last time round and some new ones, but he has managed to convince Victoria Hamilton re to return to the role of Audrey, who's the mother of a recently deceased soldier who, in the ruins of a garden in rural England, searches for for seeds of hope. Victoria she was, fantastic. was a sensation. She, she was, was an absolutely absolute brilliant. sensation. And she was widely recognised as so because it earned her a Critic Circle Award for Best Actress in a Play, even though hardly anyone saw Albion. I know, it's such a small, intimate house. Yeah. Like, I'm almost gutted that this isn't going on to a bigger house. Yeah, like, I'd have liked it to be revived. I'm lose the umbrella. I'd like it I've to have it. been revived in a bigger venue, to be honest with you. Are you sorting that out, love? Don't mind don't me. Don't mind him, don't, don't mind, mind it. Me. I'll just tell you that it's three me hours. Storm Dennis are it's, just having a bit of a rest. It's a pretty long one, but it does include an interview and it's a limited run only till the 28th of February but stick around for our 30 second interval breakdown and to the end to hear of our thoughts and find out how many stars this time round going on here great Scott it's the interval fellow leggers which means it's time for the break leggers 30, 30 second, second interval, interval breakdown, breakdown. Oh, what do you start with you? We're going to start with me. I'm really enjoying it. It's as if I'm seeing it for the first time. I'm loving the text. I'm loving the drama. I'm loving the performances. I'm loving the staging. Like, I'm really on board with everything. I think it looks beautiful and stunning, and it's better than I remember it. How about you? I think it's a prime example of when you have a great text, you've got to give it the respect it deserves in production. And my God, does the production lift this to an entirely different level? I'd go so far as to say it's the best first act of a play that I've ever seen, and I cannot wait to go back. Fellow leggers, we have come to us the end of our second visit to and Albion. It'd be all blowy. Do you know what? I just feel it's I feel, an absolute storm. I feel like it's so fitting that we should see a piece that's so British at its heart and about the sort of storm of the situation that we're in at the moment, where we think we're at the centre of everything, but we're not in the eye of the storm, and quite literally, because I'm being blown all over the shop right now. <laughs> okay, second time to Albion. Second time to Albion. What did you think this it's, time round? It's magnificent. Like it's a fantastic play. It's I think. As a, as, as a director and yourself, I can only dream of coming up with a production that is accomplished as this one and assembling a cast of such exquisite talent. Every single one of them delivers a masterclass in just how to be a character and it's a joy from start to finish. Zips through, loved it. 
Um, it's four scenes essentially. We follow this one patch of land, this one static set, which is beautiful. We have this lovely tree, that's all it is, a trunk of a tree and then the leaves, and the light coming through is great. And we see what happens at four different stages, I guess, four long scenes. And the scenes are so well crafted, the characters are so well defined. All right is, from the off as well, like it's so clear from this yes, first scene. Uh, all it is, uh, I guess in its synopsis, its narrative, it's common complex characters but it's ultimately about a, a mum mm -hmm. who is trying to keep everything close is mourning the loss of her son in her own way though and not the in an more outwardly she, typical way th and I think that's the great thing the more she wants to hold on to stuff the more things get pushed away it's almost like a mother hen trying to hold on and protect w what is close to her and yet in the same way she su suffocates and stifles yep. others people and herself and it's, and it's a tragedy and a comedy yep. all but at once is, all those, in the writing it's all, genius all of those things that she's experiencing and, and trying to hold on to these forgotten this this past that's a fantastical is a reflection on Brexit Britain every single moment well, so were is, you think I wasn't thinking of Brexit Britain it, it is all. clearly a narrative on a broken society on this false nostalgia in the same way that home oh, my darling you know someone wants to live in the 50s because they thought everything was great but someone that lived through the 50s went yes, actually that's bullshit. I see where you're coming from it's exactly that this is a and commentary nostalgia. on the state of the nation and it is done with such heart and such truth as I think no matter which side of the fence that you fall on it will resonate with you like no other piece of theatre at this time in our lives. I'd say it's more the beauties in the eye of the beholder in that that's what's great about art right and that's what's great about theatre is we can make sense of it what we want to make sense of it. For me yep. it struck me more as a parent in kind of what you want for your children how you want things to be and you, you plan things out and things don't always go to plan and, and you can fight that mm. or you can just accept it and this character the lead character Audrey fights it yeah. she wants to take control and the and more you try and take control yeah. anyway. and for me it's it's about politics she is the person that's leading the country that she's Nigel Farage she is saying <laughs> wow she, this like, Brexit that's thing how, really struck out yeah like did, that's okay. what the piece is for me that's that's all this piece it's is it's great writing yeah it is um, great if I'm writing. being really no matter what picky, level you go I think at. it's made up of four scenes ultimately four acts I guess for me the fourth act ever so slightly drops in its pace all the other scenes all the, are, are driven and the high energy and the drama is intense it becomes much more reflective and sentimental in its fourth act and just dipped a little bit for me but it also comes together full circle as a narrative so I understand you sort that of need we it. need it I get that but Let's talk about, about some of the performances. So let's do it quick before we get blown talk away. Let's about Victoria Hamilton. I We've mean, spoken how, about her before I mean, and she was amazing. I mean, we rave about her all the time. Yeah. Guys, I'm, I don't say this lightly. We see a lot of performances, but this is one of the performances of of the century for me. It's almost like one of the best best performed characters I have ever seen and live. Both times with Cini, I've raved about her because she is a Astonishing, like every single thing that she does. I, you know, if I met her, I would be intimidated. I can't believe there's any separation between woman, between real woman and actress, because her performance is that good. Um, I think she's got fantastic material to work with. Mike Bartlett, I think we said this last time, writes fantastic female characters. And thank God for that. Doctor Foster was a fantastic character in the mm -hmm. BBC show he wrote, and I think in this and this ad this adaptation is brilliant. Yeah. And so she has Victoria Hamilton has such a good um, text to work with and she brings it to life she is the character mm -hmm. and you can see that character just how she is in her class and how she looks down on other people yeah. how she it's believable. just all there and she Nothing plays it so about well it is unbelievable okay. who has oh hang um, on yeah break a leg is nomination yes actress I'm in glad we I mean, agreed just agreed on this she let's was absolutely we can't we can't not, can't not like yeah. she is like, she was she's, brilliant she's absolutely stunning and like i say I'm, I'm gutted because i don't think i don't know what award she can be eligible for outside well, she's of already the got most one important one which is uh, you know a nomination oh, oh, for the us bowel ones. I yeah, was gonna go bowel the, Olivia, nomination. the Olivia what <laughs> um also um, i would like to call out nicholas rowe as the sort of foil to her as the the almost the opposite in every way plays her husband that is just so like 
pondering and meandering and, yes. and he has to pl underplay every single thing that he does every line he delivers and he's a ma again a master because he has to be so instinctive as to what choices Victoria making do you know what she, I can imagine her as an actress act having to direct him almost do you know what I mean because he has to be so opposite to her she she has she in her character choices has shaped his character choices and he has been so responsive for that that he gets a break a leg nomination for best supporting actor in a play for me wow there you go another bal nomination I didn't even get a word in there I think the reason it works again is in the writing um, she almost doesn't work without him and he doesn't work without her because you've got to have that yin and yang and he is absolutely that have I lost you? Where are you? Where are I you know at? That you're, you're a big down. fan of Helen. I'm looking at who's who because who they don't make it easy again, for you. The Almeida's here. great, yeah. but the, the, the programme so is difficult to find out um, who's who. Helen Schelsing, um, Schel Schelsinger, yes. um, who plays um, the best friend of Audrey. I thought she was great. I loved her last time um, and this time as well. She's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. She has some really nice stuff to work with. What's great about her character in the writing, again, is that she gets to challenge her best friend and they have some real nice scenes. Again, I think it's really, I, I love the lesbian interplay that I imagine it's just a really nice modern touch. Yeah, the first and time we've mentioned any, any LGBT thing there, so people are going to be going, what? There's lesbianism? Um, yeah, yeah, there is, because brilliant. relationships are complex and, and, and sexuality is a complex thing. And they're sort of, the, the way that they, they tackle that in this, between a young person's journey with sexuality and an older woman's, is something we don't see very often. No, it's great. I, I love that narrative, I love that writing. Absolutely. The whole cast is great. Yeah. There's a number of other people that are brilliant, a great supportive cast. Yeah. They move I around like, the stage great. Like, the um, scene changes are beautiful. They really are. I think are. beautiful is probably the word. Of yeah. the word. Um, with really nice music choices yep. and beautiful lighting, as we said, coming through the Yeah, the I mean, Break a Leg's nomination for lighting for me, Neil Austin, um, gives, Neil us, Austin gives us an absolute, uh, just a supremely beautiful, it's almost like the whole thing is like an inky watercolour. Do you know what I mean? Like if someone painted a garden, it's sort of this inky, almost slightly vagueness of colour and shape. The way he, what he does with light to bring that alive is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful yeah. lighting. And yeah, also Miriam Buther for design. Absolutely fantastic. Love the device, just so simple yeah. and yet it works. I can't see, although I want this chance to transfer because I want people to More enjoy people to it, it and for it to have venue. a life beyond it and for it to be recognised. I struggle to see it anywhere but here because it's so intimate. It works in this space. It's, um, yeah, the design is great. Shall we wrap up Let's before wrap we up. get blown away? Okay, you're probably wondering how many stars we're going to give Albion, which is currently playing here at the Almeida Theatre. We are going to give... Five! Five stars for this piece. It's just, what, what can we say? it's just stunning. Like everything about it is wonderful. It's funny. It's witty. It's deep. It's emotional. Yes. It's beautiful. It's, it's challenging. A journey, it's a ride. It's, it feels personal. Unexpected. Um, Break a leg's nomination, best revival of a play for this. Best I mean, how could we play? not? We go. And I'm glad it's eligible for us as best revival now because it gets this new life. And I just, I just. Can we give Rupert one as well? We haven't even talked about Rupert. It's great direction, it's dynamic. I yeah. can feel that the I mean, power has very much been put in his hands and I guess we just have given him a, a nomination. Cool. There nomination. we go. Best um, director. Because they see the actors are free to mm. work in the space. They've been free to give, an o give ownership and control of how they see the characters. I can see that it's been really nicely explored in that rehearsal space which transposed to the actual performance space. This is, um, for me, like I would, it's my Inspiration as a director to direct a piece that is so made up of these of perfect elements which are just so well thought out and brought beautifully to life and outside of the box in so many ways I just loved it absolutely but it's just what I think and that's totally what I think what you may have had a different experience yeah, what, what do did you, you think? think please let us know down below it really helps us if you hit subscribe like and leave us a comment we love to read your comments so please do that we're the Breaker Leggers and we'll catch you again soon bye Oh!